you guys we finally have a top on Bitcoin so we can update our little buy levels um, I was actually just looking at the chart yesterday with someone live and realized that all of our old cell levels could be very confusing so I figured today we can just delete all the previous levels we've been buying and selling at leave the three profit target which is ran through yesterday and then um, start fresh with the rest of it okay I'm gonna leave this the yellow line which is the start of the trend that we've been using which gave us these profit targets it's a longer trend line and we could still run the fibs for the buys for the longer trend line but then we're gonna use the most recent trend bottom to top to get the more immediate buy levels to get start getting back in from all the profit taking okay so the most immediate oh God, we need that one still so the latest trend is really this one right and then we have this super short one which is from the latest run for more aggressive buys if you sold too much or you're trying to more aggressively get in so we'll keep we we'll leave the purple ones for the longer trends and those are really in the event something like this happens and then the shorter term ones are just for more regular swing trading so I'm going to make these, what should we make them, let's make these blue. Let's get close to that one. Okay. So, these two levels remain the profit taking levels longer term. These are going to be the new buys as it's pulling back. So actually this is not a bad time to start adding some back in. Once it finds a bottom on this pullback, we can run the shorter term fib also, um, which is you guys know from the bottom of the trend to the top of the trend and let's say it bottoms out here. It will give us more uh, shorter term profit targets. I want to shave things off. Okay, so the Bitcoin chart, I am going to just screenshot it and post it in the chat room. Finally, we read it for this profit taking. A little too long, but finally hit it. So I'll leave the next one. I suppose I can delete this one because we're above that now, just to make it less confusing. I'll leave the long term trend. That's where we got those profit targets from. And then we can run this. These will be the buy levels as it's pulling back. For more aggressive entries, we can run this. Just to get a couple more there.
haven't hit so we can leave them no tracements and we can still keep this one actually they are my colors we can keep these though the longer term ones and then we can run shorter frame here Longer term trend, and then these here, maybe the shorter term. Just to see if we can get a shorter term profit, an additional one. This one more little right here, which we can leave because this one's taking a little longer. So we can put some shorter term profits as well if people are looking to get out. Just hit this profit. I'm gonna leave the other one because it hasn't hit it yet. I'm gonna delete the lower levels. Oh, actually, I'm gonna leave the buys because those are still valid, but we are gonna run. Uh, the shorter trend line for the shorter trend buys because after you know these we, we think in three profit we have three profit takings already so more aggressively looking to get back in these levels are fine Well, this one still hasn't hit this, so we can leave it as is. I'm just gonna remove the old, some of the old buys. This is fine. This chart can stay like this.
Mm -hmm. The sun also is a long ways away, so we can just leave this. Just see if we can find these are a little just shorter term. Depending on where people averages are, because it this one is struggling a bunch, so you know this could not be this could end up not being profit even for someone. It could take a loss if they sell here, but it's you know one of the risks of trading an unlimited supply of cryptocurrency, which is you know why we never like dodge. But the charts are here because people still like to trade it, I suppose. So. So long term profit taking, that's fine. Buys in the shorter time frame. Turn on the longer time frame. So that one's the one that's doing. Okay, I'll finish up the rest and post them in there. I saw a lot of questions coming through for some new ones, so we can we can do those. And um, and yeah, that's it. I hope this was helpful. I will see you guys in the chat room.